I haven't talked about the trailer for some time. You may or may not have been familiar from other posts, but uh, we had planned to, to tow the trailer with the truck and try to make it as far towards Arizona as possible as we could, take the bikes with us and live in the trailer. Things changed about, probably this was about six months ago. Um, my, my dad got quite sick and I had to go back to England and we just kind of put the the trip on hold really and that was like I said six months ago we had a lot of snow recently and um, you know I just I haven't touched it um, we do however plan to leave again for the same trip next Friday a week today um, so I have been back in the trailer for about a week I'm just trying to make it as comfortable as possible so I'm just going to show you what we've done really so starting with the outside, I've gone for these um, stabilizer jacks. Massive overkill, they're um, 5,000 pound weight rated each. I've got one in each corner and um, I mean, when you park a trailer like this, even when it's hitched, if you're in, I mean, you're not supposed to be living in it really. Um, that's not what they're designed for. It is very bouncy. So the stabilizer jacks make it a much nicer place to be inside. It uh, really doesn't move at all now. So I had to move the battery tray here, it has a little uh, 12 volt battery that uh, um, runs the interior lights and some other bits and pieces. That was located here. The weight distribution bars, oh sorry, the sway bars for the hitch, the bracketry has to be um, a very specific distance from the centre of the ball hitch. Um, and that ended up being where exactly where the battery was, so I had to uh, cut you know none, none of this wiring would actually reach over here so i've had to relocate that and wire that back in with uh you know longer longer wire to make that path um we uh, were able to fill our five gallon water drum from here so we don't even need to open the door it has um, a backfill here as well so when the tank's full if uh, you haven't noticed or you're not paying attention the water comes out of here rather than spilling inside uh, down here we have the drain. Um, I can open this and just drain out the system at the end of the season or the end of a trip so there's no water left in the tank. And this allows us to hook up to a campsite um, water supply. So this actually sits after the pump, um, before the tap, and it has a check, oh, you can see the check valve here. So um, the pump can't pump water out of this and if you push water in from the campsite it doesn't go towards the pump it just goes straight to, to the tap um, and then obviously the hookup i've gone through the front here we went for a 48 inch wide door so if we absolutely needed to we could ride a bike inside the front but that was before we kind of turned it into a, a little house we've put down a luxury vinyl floor just a click and connect it is insulated underneath as well. All the walls have been insulated with the foam, foamula board. Um, and then we've gone for this brick finish just to kind of give it, you know, it's not very nice when it's just exposed chipboard. Uh, the kitchen, you guys are probably familiar with. Um, this was all built, um, you know, from scratch, specifically to try and meet our needs. So we've got, uh, like I said, a five gallon um, water drum here. And you can see how that meets the filler neck there and then the blue line is um, it can vent out of that and it also if you fill it up and overfill it it just feeds back out of the blue pipe and out to um, atmosphere so you don't you never get any leakage inside and uh, the tank is connected to a water pump here which comes to the tap uh, we've got running heating and AC in here um, and then we have a 12 volt fan in the roof if we want to pop it up and just uh, it sucks the air the hot air out from inside the trailer uh, we've got dimmable lights up front I'll just show you the oh the, the 12 volts uh, is disconnected but uh, yeah we've got running water here this um, this drains to outside and we have an isolator here for the cold water supply to the tank uh, to the tap microwave oven toaster sandwich toaster fridge freezer 
Um, I think that's about everything in there. A little bit of storage. I built some big drawers under the bed, probably for clothes and stuff. You know, if we're away for a long time. Carly's going to want to bring loads of clothes with her, so we've got a couple of drawers there. I could build another two on the other side, but I'm not sure I'm going to have time and or to trim around the bed like I, like I sort of started to trim here. I'd like to box the side in and, uh, and trim around the face. I may go for a, a curtain here just to cover up this part of the storage. Um, short term, but maybe a door. I don't know. Who knows? We've got the, the two Lazy Boy recliners. Um, they're positioned nicely so I can shut the door. You know, you want to watch some Netflix one evening. Got the 40 inch flat screen and that moves right over to here so you can sit in the chairs recline and watch a movie or uh you know watch it from in bed over here so we we built a frame specifically so we could get a queen size bed in here um so that's six what six foot by five foot i think um Rick, nice new mattress, really comfortable. Um, that's one of the important things when we're away. I didn't want to be, you know, I don't want to sleep in a tent. I don't want to sleep on an airbed. I want the creature comforts, but out in the wild. So the bed's really, really nice. Um, what else have we got going on? I think that's about it, really. A little bit more storage up here. And, you know, I may build some, some more up top. I've got a little bit more wall to do here. Um, and then I've got a crown moulding, as you can see I've started to um, like shiplap the ceiling. That's going to run all the way to the back. And then a crown moulding to cover up where all the electrical runs. Um, we got uh, power points everywhere. There's some back here with USB outlets. I've got four here, four behind the TV, um, and then four under the bed. Little coat hanger here or something. Um, but this is really my favorite part the garage so I can open the curtains and look at my bikes anytime I want so we got um, the TRS system on the on the outsides for the two street bikes um, I have ordered a new set of pins for the 390 Duke so hopefully we should be able to take that with us as well and then the uh, lock and load systems for the dirt bikes in the middle so all four bikes fit in here we've got some um, nice LED lighting in the back to you know if I need to work in here there is power in the back here and uh, independent switch uh, independent light sorry for the garage and then under this side of the bed um, you can see the back of the drawers from inside the living space we've got a real decent um, storage area where I can stack more on top of these bins as well um, I think that's probably about it for now. Um, like I say, we're a week out. We're really just, you know, final bits of trim and we're going to hook it up and test drive it and see how it feels with all the bikes in. The bikes are at the back and they do sit sort of kind of behind the rear axle. So we'll see how, obviously we've got a lot of weight in the front as well. The bed is um, kind of partially in front of the wheels the kitchen and all the appliances the water um, that sits up front so we're gonna try and get the trailer weighed before we leave and then uh, weigh the tongue so we can try and sort of balance it out as best as possible um, we are towing like I said with a 150 it we've towed it a couple of times before there is a bit, little bit more weight in it now but it you know it's 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 bearable there's no it's not bad it's just the sway really um, that being said, I haven't towed it with the new hitch yet, so we're just about ready to hook this up and uh, and uh, do some test towing with the weight distribution and the sway control. Sway is really the issue, I think, just with a, such a big siding, you know, it picks up the, the wind and you get this sail effect. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. So, probably update just before we leave to, to show you the, the finished product and then we hit the road in a week. Very excited. <laughs>